here from uh, Southern Cross Banjo Ukes in New Zealand. It's been a while. Um, we bought a new house and I foolishly estimated it would take six months to fix it up and it took me almost exactly 14 months. So there's been <laughs> no banjo ute making uh, in the last little while. And then when I finished the house I had to build a shed because I didn't have a workshop. So I'm sitting in the shed I built and here's my first offering um, for a wee while. This is um, Pretty much all native timbers, or at least locally grown exotics. The body is done in kahikatea, which is the lighter coloured wood. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the darker coloured wood is totra. Totra is normally not that um, not that dark at all. It's, it's a light brown colour. This is river totra. The um, the log was found in a river <coughs> in the central North Island some years ago. No one knows how long it's been there. It could have been there for a few years, could have been there for thousands of years. It could be like swamp cowrie. But it's taken on um, a very dark um, chocolatey brown colour from the minerals um, in the water, presumably, or the bottom of the river where it's sat for, for so many years. So that's the totra. The um, hand cap, heel stock, fretboard and headstock are in um, Purple Heart, which was grown and milled locally. The hardware is all my normal hardware from Rickard Banjos. It's all quality gear. Gear tuners. Planetary style. Uh, maple bridge, ebony top, and I've put little purple heart feet on the bottom just to match in with everything else. So there it is, it's on the marketplace, um, I've just listed it, um, if you're interested um, send me a PM or my email's on the bottom of my, uh, of my um, messages. Thanks for looking and we'll see you again. Kia ora.